The Victron Links distributor has four spaces inside of it for fused circuits, but what if you have one more component that you need to put on here that you need an additional fused circuit for? Well, today I'm going to show you a hack to make it work. Welcome to Explorers.life. My name is Nate, and I teach people how to build DIY campers. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is take off the cover. And now if this were a Lynx distributor in use, we would have fuses on our positive bus bar with wires coming off of those, and then lugs and wires coming off of our negative bus bar. So we are going to pretend like these are all filled up, and so we need additional spaces. We're gonna be focusing on these two studs on the far side of the bus bars. Power would be coming in here, traveling across the bus bar, and we need to add a fused connection on this stud and a negative wire lug on this side to go to our additional circuit. And so to do that, I'm going to pull this little plastic piece out of the way, and set it aside. And then we're going to be using a MRBF fuse and MRBF fuse holder, AKA terminal fuse and terminal fuse holder for this project. So this fuse holder has a piece of metal that comes up over here and then a piece of non-conductive material here, plastic or polycarbon, I don't know what that is. It's just non-conductive. And then this fuse, simply goes on top of this right here. And so this piece of metal is going through the fuse to this piece of metal so that that ring on the bottom is connected to the metal part of the fuse holder. And then a wire lug would simply fit on top of that like so. So I'm going to remove this nut lock washer and washer. Put my terminal fuse holder directly onto the bus bar. Put my walk washer, lock washer, and nut back into place. And then tighten it up. And now I can take my terminal fuse, put it in place, and then put my positive wire in place. The washer, lock washer, and nut. and tighten it down. For the negative wire, I need to undo this nut here. Remove the nut, lock washer, and washer. Put our negative wire in place, kind of bending it so that it'll go in that spot, like so. Put our washer, lock washer, and nut into place and tighten it down. And that's pretty much it. These would just go off to whatever load we're trying to power, whether it's a DC fuse block or a charge controller or anything like that. Now, the cover still fits on top, like so. Nice and neat. These wires would obviously want to have some kind of wire uh, cable clamps going down this direction to keep them nice and clean. Now wire size for this, a few tips and tricks. Uh, this is six gauge wire that we're showing here. Now two gauge wire also fits. Two gauge wire is about the biggest I would go on this because it starts to hit here when you try to put the cover back on. Even bigger wire, like I think this is one knot. Yes, one knot wire. Uh, it does not fit very good at all. It's very much uh, squishing the wire when the cover goes on. So if you have a circuit that needs one knot wire, consider one knot wire or larger, consider moving it to one of these main studs inside and a smaller circuit out to the fifth spot. So what if you need two additional spaces? Well, they actually make a dual space MRBF fuse holder that would connect in the exact same way as the single MRBF fuse holder. But what we're going to run into is it's really hard slash impossible to put two wires onto the negative. So here's what I would recommend for that. For the sake of the example, I'm going to take this off. Lose the nut in the bottom, shake it out. And then I'm going to get one of our Lynx adapters that we sell in our store, shop.explorers.life, and put it on the end of here. Put the washer, 
lock washer and nut back into place and tighten it down. Slide that out of the way for the sake of not having it in my way for video. Remove the hardware on this side of the Lynx distributor, or I'm sorry, the Lynx adapter. And now we can put a wire on the top and bottom of this Lynx adapter. So now if we had one of these dual terminal fuse holders here, we'd have two positive wires off of fuse connection off the positive bus bar. And then off the negative bus bar, we have our two negative wires going to our two separate circuits. And that is how you add one to two additional spaces to the Victron Lynx distributor. Now, if you need to use uh, three to four additional spaces, you may just want to consider adding an additional Lynx distributor to this one. And if that's the case, I have a video that shows you exactly how to do that in a full system install that I'll link to in the video description below. We'll see you next week.